what happens if you're out for a nice sail, light winds, and you fall off the boat? Yes, that boat is definitely going off on its own. Fortunately, here at Wildwind Sailing Holidays, help is always at hand. And we're back on board. Yeah, so as we saw in all of the falling off the boats videos that I made last year, in the light winds especially, uh, you're most at risk of the boat just going off without you. So what we're going to look at here is what we're calling tethering. This is attaching yourself to the boat so that if you do fall off, the boat isn't going to be able to go off without you because you're going to be attached. My three biggest concerns with the whole concept of tethering is firstly, are you going to end up in a tangled mess if you've attached yourself to a rope? Number two, is it going to become an entrapment risk if you were to capsize being clipped in to more rope? And then number three, if you're clipped in to a rope on the boat, what happens if you pitch pole? Oh yes, we're going to take a look at what is going to happen if you stick the nose in and go for a swing around the front. So we are of course going to need some means of clipping to one of the lines on the boat. Let's look at how we're going to do that. I've attached a large snap shackle to the webbing just off the end of the spreader bar on the trapeze harness. Onto the snap shackle, we've got a piece of webbing. This is for a quick release. So if we need to get out, we can do that easily. And the snap shackle is very good because it's strong, but it will release under pressure. Very nice. Now in the early stages of testing, we were gonna just use a carabiner, but the carabiner wasn't as good because you can accidentally clip into stuff, which means if you capsize and you come into contact with another rope or the shroud on the boat, you could clip in accidentally, meaning you could get stuck. So the snap shackle I've decided is the best way. All right, so what we don't want to be doing is adding more rope to the boat because we've already got several available ropes on the boat. The next choice that we could have is the capsize writing line. Now, I don't think the capsize writing line is going to be a viable option, but let's give it a go and see what happens. Okay, so that's hooked on. I'm actually a little bit um, apprehensive about falling overboard, but taking one for the team. Here we go. Oops. Okay, so with the capsized writing line, it's not one of the longer ropes and the boat is still pulling. If there was any more wind, I'd be getting dragged underneath the boat. Um, oh, God knows what would happen. Um, so I'm definitely attached to the boat, but I'm not, not into it, I'm not feeling it, I'm afraid. So I've now got to try to get back on. So I'm actually gonna climb back. Use, use the rope. Cool. Might just put the rudders across. Get a... Okay, so we'll just take a look with the writing line attached to see um, if it does get in the way when we're moving across the boat. So we're going to go for a tack. Good tacking technique, bringing the main sheet in pushing the boat up into the wind. When the jib backs, main sheet comes off and we go across the boat. I tell you what, that isn't actually bad at all. I'm just gonna try tacking back to see if it's just as good going both ways.
okay yeah not bad at all you just have to be a little bit mindful of how you're readjusting when you go to sit down but that's pretty good and because of that to be honest if i was sailing in light winds i might consider the writing line as an option i had written it off because when you fall in you're so close to the boat but to be honest you're pretty unlikely to fall in really especially if the wind is light but as a little safety um i think that is a viable option okay so we're going to try option two one of the good things with the snap shackle is how easy it is to release we'll just pull and then there it is we're off so my initial thought was the option two which is going to be hooking into the main sheet and traveler loop was going to be the runaway winner let's see how she fares there it is there it is security all right so going for my first maneuver i'm going to go for a jibe I'm just going to bring the traveler in a little bit let's see if we end up in a tangled mess moving around the boat here comes the jibe okay no tangled mess there um quite pleasing really again being slightly mindful of how i'm moving around the boat we will of course be looking later on in the video at what happens uh if it's a stronger wind but for now uh the wind is light and i think it's a good starting point because this is when perhaps you are more likely to fall off because you're not quite as alert so let's see what happens we're sailing along and uh oh cool now that is pretty good what's happened is the, the main sheet and traveler loop is pulling tight i was a little bit worried about how it would affect the rudder system but as we can see it's just caught on the bottom here at the top of the casting so it's not going to damage the rudder system and um, if there was any more wind i would guess that the main sheet would automatically be pulled in so yeah that was good i was worried about what was going to happen but i didn't have to worry it was fine getting back on the boat from here i definitely find it easiest just using a trapeze line getting a foot up on the side and then you can pretty much just pull yourself back in easiest way okay let's turn up the wind okay so here we go the wind has been turned up significantly i'm clipped in ready to move out onto the trapeze it's pretty gusty okay standing on the uh the traveler line whilst moving out onto the trapeze uh just needs a little bit more rope management but uh it does feel pretty handy having the main sheet and traveler out with you whilst on the trapeze okay so we've got a, a decent amount of wind now we're going to see what happens if a trapeze wire was to snap using the main sheet tether if i can as well again try not to get tangled up when I get back on the boat but that was a real success okay so there's one more test 
to perform and I think you know what it is. And to be honest, I am a little bit scared. Woo! <laughs> About what is gonna happen. So I'm not gonna throw it from standing right at the back because, God, that would be flipping awful. Um, so I'm gonna try to throw it from a good position. <laughs> that is, of course, the big pitch poly. Don't want to go for the sideways. Oh my word. This is probably the most stupid thing I've ever done. Apologies if the audio's got a bit. Comes a bit under the water. All right, so that way I couldn't have imagined that to go as well as it did. So there we go. Okay, so there we go. In conclusion, I would definitely pick the main sheet traveler hook in for when it's windy even with the pitch pole it was pretty nasty but nothing near as bad as I thought it was going to be and then for the light winds the uh, writing line as the tether much better because it's not as long um, the entrapment issues that I felt there are going to be more entrapment issues but to test that um, there might be some pretty dire consequences but it's just you know you've got to weigh up the um, implications of the safety what is more of a concern getting trapped under the boat or losing contact with the boat there you go that's what I reckon so uh, thanks for watching I'll see you soon with some more on Joyrider TV oh yes I will all right let's get this bad boy up <laughs>